Hi guys, welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to create a flexible pipe using Creo Parametric. So let's get started. At first, select the new and enter the part name as pipe. Now click the default template. Click on OK. And let's select the template as MMS part solid like this. Then click on OK. So here at first, I am going to sketch for the flank plane, and then go for the sketch, and then go for the sketch. So here at first, I am going to draw a line as a vertical line and an horizontal line. So let's switch off the datum planes. So then I am going to adjust this height as 100. And then I am going to add some fillet for this. under this radius as 75 now i'm going to delete this unwanted line so then i'm going to create some spline feature for this so go for the spline from here to here and to like this so here i need to adjust these dimensions so i'm going to draw a center line here as a vertical center line and then I am going to adjust this value as 300 and this height as 50. So then I am going to create some tangent feature for this like this as a good curve. So then let us go for the dimensions let us adjust this as 90 degree select this line control key plus select this line and then select this point enter this angle as 90 so now our first sketch is got completed so let's click ok so now i'm going to create another spline feature or some other curve for the right plane so go for the sketch select right plane go for the sketch then go for the sketch so before that we need to to the datum plane on now go for the sketch select the right plane go for the sketch and go for the sketch so here I am going to draw a line from here to here and to here so I am going to adjust this length as 150 and this height as 100 I am going to add a fillet for this also for this line and this line and enter the radius as 75 and then click on ok so now we created two curves as you can see here so we need to intersect these two so select this curve control key plus select this curve go for the intersect as you can see it has become a 3d curve we have converted that 2d curve into a 3d curve using intersect tool so now let's create some sweep feature for this select this line go for the sweep go for the sketch go for the sketch view so here i'm going to draw a circle and enter the diameter as 50 and then click on ok so now as you can see here we need to create some relation for this so go for the sketch again go for the tool go for the relations so now here i am going to use some relation for this so i am going to create this dia of this pipe equal to nominal dia of this pipe plus amplitude into cos
so then I'm going to select this SD3 and let's go for this formulation so here I am going to enter this uh, nominal dia of this pipe as 50 as we enter this dia as 50 so then I'm going to solve this formula so for that into as we have to create this amplitude as 2 so then star cos transfer star 360 star number of waves so I am going to assume this uh, waves as 60 and then close the bracket so let us verify it so ratios have been successfully verified so click ok so now go for the sketch click ok so now allow sections to change as you can see here it has been changed so it has been seen as a solid model so let us create some thickness for this so go for the thickness and I am going to add thickness as 2 so then click on ok so let us try this intersect line sharing with the reflections So finally our part is got completed. So thanks for watching guys. So if you want more videos related mechanical engineering or any other content you can comment below. And don't forget to like this video.